Hello again everybody. In this tutorial, I will create an assembly of this mechanism. Then after that, I will create a new motion analysis. As you see here, for studying the motion of this mechanism and making tracing. Okay, first thing, we will create a new SolidWorks document. Choose the type assembly and press OK. He will ask you to begin the assembly by inserting the components. Select all the parts here, quick filter, parts. Okay, and choose all of these parts and press open. To make your base part inserted inside the origin or the two origins makes re relation coincident, you press here first to keep visible and press OK. It's inside the origin of the assembly. The second part we will insert is the blocks. We will insert one here and the second one rotate it 90 degree about Y axis from here. Okay, and the press here. Okay, the third part is our handle. You will rotate it like this. Okay. Our fourth part is the pins. Insert one and another one. And press OK. Hide the view origins icon. OK. Don't worry. Here we will learn the basic concept of assembly as a beginners. Okay, this face will be with this face a constant relation. Okay, as we see here. The second thing, this face will constant also with this face as we see here. So the direction is linear as you see. We will repeat it, repeat these steps again, this face will be with this face, coincident also, and this face will be with this face, coincident also, as you see, linear, okay, now we are mating the handle with the blocks concentric and concentric as we see here there is an interference we want to be at the end of the block like this so coincident relation or coincident mate okay so now if we drag or rotate our handle it will be like this our last step is fixing the bends like this I am pressing the first face and hold control and pressing the second face and the mate is appear to me and I select the suitable mate like this coincident and here are concentric so now if you want the start position at the video okay so this is not regularly updated so now what is the easiest way to do that I will Click this face and this face and add a perpendicular mate. Now, after creating the assembly, okay, we will suppress 
the perpendicular mate to let the handle becomes free to move and choosing a suitable view okay like this make it at the mid of our screen like this okay I will press motion study one and I'll click here and add-ins from SolidWorks premium add-ins the motion or SolidWorks motion from here and press OK from here I will select the motion analysis OK then I will drag this tree and adding motor first the type is rotary ok from this face the direction is ok uh, the motion constant speed is 20 rpms like this and press ok select calculate ok select play okay it's smooth okay we need one rotation only like this so I will drag this key to be here okay let's play again so make sure the playback mode is loop okay very pretty very smooth everything is good okay the next step we will click here at results and the plots from results here we will select displacement velocity acceleration from the subcategory select trace path and select a point here or a vertex like this and press OK then calculate and play back this is our path ok as we see now our last step is saving this motion analysis from here choose frames per second 30 choose the aspect ratio 16 to 9 ok save the file name ellipse generator mechanism and press save press fold frames ok fold frames give us the highest quality ever ok we will see the video after saving the motion analysis ok I will choose save all ok now this is our location of the video ok as you see it's smooth and with high quality ok now our mechanism is ready to be presented but if we need it to be presented as an animated GIF so we can create it using Adobe Premiere or Adobe Photoshop in the next tutorial I will explain each of these ways using this mechanism and other mechanisms okay see you in the next tutorial